How do you call that those lyrics? <laughs> I think it was Stud Circle who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horses. <laughs> the border from Pennsylvania to make a home in New Jersey. I'm just hoping someone will see through me. I'm a hunter. I'm a straight shot. Between me and you, I'm all I've got. Still I hide behind the four stars aimed at your heart. But I would give up all my guns if you would give me all your love. Spill the bullets on the floor, yeah. I won't need them anymore. Horses sing none of it. My name is Ralph Litwin, and our guest is a proud graduate of the Westminster Choir College, Indeed. Sarah Donner. Yes, hi. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate our it. pleasure. So that was a great song. Thank you. Yeah, it's about a friend of mine in Pennsylvania who had more guns than girlfriends at the time. So. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. When I go on tour. They don't understand what Pennsylvania is, so depends on where I am in the country that 
I get a good laugh out of that. It's an amusing line. Thank you. <laughs> so what happened after Westminster Choir College? Uh, after Westminster Choir College, I learned all I needed to know about singing and classical and opera. And, uh, and then um, I started auditioning for things. And that was working out. And I didn't have the patience to stand and wait around for other people to tell me I could sing. And uh, so I started writing my own songs. And um, I was a nanny for a bit um, in, uh, in England, and that's where I really got going with the guitar because I played the piano, but I really started playing the guitar when I didn't have a piano. And so when I came back to the United States, I got, you know, the bug, and then I just started playing and not stopping, and, <laughs> and here I am. And now you're going on tour. Yeah, yeah, going on tour for the summer. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, thanks. What else would you like to play for us? Um... I think I'm going to do a slower song, I think that's cool. This is called Sen, and it's a, I have an album coming out next year, it's going to be on that, but um, it's about, um, I don't know if you know the book Les Mis, or the musical, but um, one of my favorite characters from the book, his name is Javert, and uh, probably everybody's seen the movie, but this is about him. Down by the river again, but the stars won't shine. And redemption is lost on your soul, you're so full of pride. Button up all the tears that you hide beneath black and gold. What was holding you down deep inside will never know. What was once on your skin was there shame under sin? You would plunge to the depths with so many questions left. The children who fell in the street will not make a sound. And the water that brought you to life finally takes you down. What's lost in the river will someday be found. Follow the law of the land, never turning back. But it's breaking like looking glass can from a single crack. When the compass inside is a lie and you turn around. And what's holding you down deep inside will never know. What was once black is white, what was once wrong is right, and your feet start to slip as the ground starts to give. The children who fell in the street will not make a sound. And the water that brought you to life finally takes you down. What's lost in the river will someday be found. The water that fell in the street will not make changing instruments maybe you'd like to tell us about your thing with cats <laughs> I was gonna play that song um, yes I am a, I'm a self-professed crazy cat lady I suppose but um, I would be a crazy you know whatever ostrich lady if they were the ones in my parking lot you know reproducing but uh, it took some time and um, and uh, I got all the, the cats in my parking lot started coming to me after I started feeding them and then it brought their progeny and so I'd foster them and find homes for them and then try to get everybody fixed and uh, it resulted in probably hundreds of kittens that have come through my doors <laughs> over the past few years and uh, this particular song that I was going to play is um, it's called Tree Lines 
and uh, I was playing it one day in my bedroom, and um, and most of my cats they usually take off when I start to play, and they meow and they leave the room and they're very angry. But this one day, a little kitten named Lady Peanut, she came up to me. I, I was sitting cross-legged on the ground, and uh, she came up and she sat right in front of me, and she just stared at me with these big eyes. She's like, "Oh, I love you!" And she just listened, and so I grabbed the camera and I was like, "This." I don't know if it's going to last very long, but I grabbed the camera and I stuck it, you know, right in front of my legs and I just took a video of her. So it's just me playing the song with her watching and that's on YouTube. But it got to be a big viral hit because the cat, there's cats on the internet or something like that. That's what I hear anyway. <laughs> She's cute. She's adorable. <laughs> yes. I love her. I didn't keep her, but if I had known how famous she would be, I might have kept her. <laughs> Let's hear the song. All right. In my backyard, I had boxes, I had spices and parked cars. In your backyard, you have mountains. But I don't see stars from my backyard, oh, I believe that they are there. If you see one, would you wish on it for me here? Eyes on the tree line and feet in the sand, these things around me and I can't breathe in, but are you? tell folks how they can find out more information about your touring schedule and your recordings. Yes, um, they can go to saradonner.com and they can also go to facebook.com slash saradonner. Follow me on Twitter. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, um, there will be many pictures of kittens, so <laughs> that's always a treat. You know, it's, it's less about the music and more about the cat sometimes, but uh, when I go on tour, it's, it's more about the music for sure. And I have a little kitten-shaped hole inside my head. would you like to share with us next? Um, I'm going to play a song called Going Under. And this is a song, this is a song that has a video on YouTube where uh, I got a lot of help from my friends and my fans and they all made um, sock puppets. So, visualize sock puppets everywhere. And a ukulele that's in tune. Yeah.
a song that you collaborated with somebody on the internet that has over two million hits. But I cannot play that song today. <laughs> yeah. It was about a pterodactyl and uh, my friend who writes the webcomic The Oatmeal. Um, he's, the, he's the internet celebrity that um, I was fortunate enough to hang out with and uh, we, did a, we did a TED talk together about uh, niche marketing and comedy and you know trying to bring your art to the internet and uh, he asked me to, to do this song about a pterodactyl that he had been thinking about for a while based on one of his comics. Um, very, very not suitable for work, but I think that's what probably helped it get over two million hits, perhaps. I don't know. It's very rude. It's really rude, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, when my mom heard it, she was like, um, Sarah, Donna, I can't share this with my friends, but I'm very proud of you anyways. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's it's fun, and I, I do I do play it when I know that there are people in the audience that know that song, and that is the most popular song. So, depends on um, you know if it's a G PG thirteen crowd, you got to hold off. But depends. What else do you have for us? Um, I'm gonna play a song called uh, Follow Suit, and this is a song I wrote after I binge watched um, Thirty Rock on Netflix. And, uh, I like that show. I love that show. And uh, it's from the, the point of Liz Lemon. Um, so I'll be Liz Lemon and you can be Sexy Alec Baldwin. How about that? It's good. All right. You're an interesting man, never taught to take the hand that is held out to you, palm face up and. You just have to take control, cause you buy and sell the souls at a discount and it's business, baby. Totally. So somebody from the control room can let me know if it's time to do our outgoing song. Mm. Got about three minutes. Yeah. 
five minutes. Uh, so you want another one? Fast one? How was my fast one? Let's see. Oh, I know. We have we have an audience. Can you participate with me? <coughs> uh, it's fine. You just have to yell a couple things at me. All right, we'll do this one fast. But this is a, a song about coming out. Oh. I, you get to yell at me. You can yell, that's a Pegasus? And I don't think so, okay? Everybody at home, you can all yell things at me too. That's a Pegasus, and I don't think so. All right, here we go. It's called Live Pride. Guest. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Ready to rock out? Yep. All right. This is a this is a new one. It's called Signal. It's about my sister being so angry, punching the door. Okay. Just fade and beauty fade, hope flows, love. 